Okay, you can delete that from the scene. So we have a list of our slots, so we can say for each slot s in layout dot slots. Now for each one we want to create a card. Game object resource equals resources dot load. And this is our card prefab as a game object. And then game object go equals game object dot instantiate resource vector three dot zero. And we don't want to use quaternion dot identity here. We want to use Euler, and the rotation is uh, 180 and 270 to get it facing the proper direction. And this is as a game object. And then we want to say go dot transform dot parent equals s dot transform dot parent. Okay, so save that, and let's go ahead and drag the. Uh, card prefab in. Click play. Uh, oh, we don't even need that line. This is the card prefab. Okay. Click play and this created cards that are not correctly parented. So we found all of our slots. So let's go ahead and oh, just S dot transform. Okay. All right, so now these are all in the right slot. They're just not in the right position. So let's go ahead and fix that. And instead of vector 3.0, we're going to use s.transform.position. Okay, click play. And now all the cards are in the correct spot in our layout. So let's move the camera so it gets a good look at it. And let's make this like 75. All right. Four seventeen. Uh, negative two. Okay, so four seventeen, negative two, and seventy five. Four seventeen, negative two, seventy five. Let's quick play negative four. Okay. And now our game creates a uh, list of or a uh, array of cards. They each slot it to the correct spot. Uh, we might want to rotate them slightly better so that they face the camera. Uh, 90, this is 180, 
so it goes like that, which is 90. All right. So let's change this to 90. Save that. Let's remake it. Now all the cards face the camera. They are upside down now. Uh, so negative 90. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. Now all the cards face the camera and are in the correct direction. Alright, that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching.